One good thing about quarantine is that I'm spending so much more time at home. But I've actually realized how boring my house is. It's, it's like legit boring. So we've got a lot of renovations that we're still trying to do, my wife and I. And we put our house up for sale and we were gonna move and we didn't know if we were gonna live in the ranch or not. And it's just really complicated because in order for me to live in the ranch, then I can't use it for business. And then if I'm using it for business, I can't really live there. And so it's just a lot, it's just a weird story. So me and Denise have decided to like focus on Carly's room at our house and, and do a full renovation of the bathroom, make it really cool. And uh, I think I'm going to actually, I'm meeting with my contractor right now I think I'm gonna go for it and build a full-blown like IMAX movie theater because I love movies so much and literally everybody knows this. I go to the movies alone. That's how much I love movies. I, if I wanna see a new movie, I just go see it. I don't care if anybody's going with me or not. It makes no difference to me. I do feel like the movies are gonna hurt a little bit, especially, you know, the theaters in Vegas. Uh, they're all big corporations and I don't know, I'm a little, I'm a little scared about that. So I think I'm gonna make basically my own stuff at my house, like my own little IMAX theater, Dolby Atmos kind of whole thing. I know those are two separate phases, but it doesn't really matter. We're gonna go meet with the contractor. That's what we're doing right now. shitting in my seat the whole ride here. Turn the, turn the camera on. I'm All not right. gonna lie, this car, when he drives, it's not fun. Excuse the mess because this is Carly's room and uh, we're doing a renovation now. We didn't film it, we were going to film it, but Atwood and I uh, needed to, uh, it's hard to explain the computer. This, you know what's funny? This was a room before, okay? This yeah. looks sick. You haven't seen the Royalty Poker Table? Nope, I don't get invited to poker nights. Yeah. So this right here was our first bathroom renovation. Right, so you see it's beautiful black, we got a black toilet, all this really cool rustic stuff. This is actually over here was a closet before and we kind of, we closed it, but the access to the attic, right? For the air conditioner was behind this wall. So I was like, oh, one day if it ever breaks, I'll just take the other wall down, right? And uh, go over there because there's actually a big beam kind of over here. So we can't get around there from the other attic access that I originally thought was gonna work. Well, anyways, the AC finally broke. <laughs> so, Atwood and I decided to take this wall down and we did it by ourselves. We're gonna film it, but it didn't, I, I don't know, I just forgot my camera. So, now we're going full right now. Hey, good. Oh, so, wow. Come here. So, I cut this wall out myself uh, and I did all this and then, uh, Wait, so, so this right here was the closet? On so this side? is two closets right here. You see this? This is a wall right here. Right. And basically so this was one closet. This was Carly's closet. Yep, and this is the other room's closet. 
So um, basically, we decided to open it so I can get to this attic access because the air conditioner is in there and we can't get to it. Because I cut one here, but this beam's too tall to crawl over unless you're like Darren. Houston's right? uh, daughter's closet is bigger than my master bedroom. <laughs> okay. By the way. Anyways. So this is my casita. Uh, I've never done anything with this. It actually has the original everything in it. Um, if you look, this is the original color of, of the casita, I believe. Did you paint this, Victor? Uh, I don't think you ever painted this no, one, right? I think it's the original color, the original baseboards. This is all original. Um, and so essentially, I wanted to turn this into my theater, but I never really went through and pulled the plug because I've got to change a couple things because where you enter isn't really conducive to how you sit, right? So if you want to sit, higher back there the door needs to be kind of closer to here and then the screen would be over here but then there's a bathroom right here so it's a very complicated space the idea is for me just to get rid of the bathroom you know and just and, extend it out to there and just extend it out to there but then the screen right becomes smaller so i can just close this wall here right and then put the door to the bathroom over there and the screen would be here as well but then you have like a i don't know you have a door on the wall of your, you know, your, your projector screen, which isn't a big deal. A lot of theaters have that, but it is nice when you can walk in somewhere and then you can like go up, right? But we don't have a lot of depth, you know, in normal theaters, you, you would walk in on the side and then you kind of make a U-turn and then you start to go up your stairs, but we don't really have that option. So I think getting rid of the bathroom is the smartest play, or I move the door here and then this becomes the bathroom door right and that over there just becomes like a little hallway you know which is okay which is smart because then if you do that you could essentially put like a snack bar here with like a popcorn machine or you know something along those lines or you could just go to your kitchen which is 10 feet away it is yeah that's true <laughs> yeah mm -hmm. so i think honestly your best bet is to put the tv there the 120 because mm -hmm. it's still pretty big like this room itself it would look big in here and then you can fill however many rows of couches you have, and you could have like a little walkway right here. But we know you like to be extra, so. Super extra all the time. We're going into the theater like three hours into the demo. Tony, what do you think about beautiful movie theater project? Well, I think the vision is there. I think it's going to look beautiful. Just like every, you're like an interior designer. No, I'm like a logistics designer. Okay, you guys got to see. Interior I designer. really, no, interior designers are yeah, of the wrong side, okay? <laughs> I'm on the right side. I'm like a logistics designer, okay? I, I, All right, floor plan designer. Floor, okay, like there that. you go. All right, cool. I flipped a couple of houses, guys, and I've done a really good job at it. So you should uh, maybe put some before and after pictures. Anyways, yeah. <laughs> my point is, is are you ready to pre-buy some tickets? Yeah. Cause I'm selling tickets to my theater. That's all I got. Okay, so yeah. you want to, yeah, okay, let's yeah, just, let's just go, I'm gonna show them up real quick. Okay, look, let's just look. Okay, so now we have more depth behind us. All right, can you just, can you show them for me? Go back to your car. Actually, so we have here. How much extra depth do we have without a closet here? Uh, four or five feet. Yep, that's what so, we needed. Yeah. Because we're gonna raise up the platform, Yep. right? So, okay, look, good. ceiling, we're gonna make custom everything. Custom ceiling, what's up, Victor? All right, look, it's all coming together very well. Continue to follow this build because it's gonna be amazing. All right, interior colors, probably purple because it's kind of trending right now in my car area. Maybe like Nardo gray with orange, who knows? You know what I'm saying? Um, please subscribe, guys, because we need to get yeah, some subscribe. people to follow the movie theater build so we can make a custom construction channel. That's kind of what I want to do, right? We're entering into a different world in America, yep. and I feel like I'm going back to flipping houses. What do you think? Are you you want to be like general contractor? I'm down. Okay, because like I'm I'm super ready. We're gonna go buy a bunch of distressed properties, maybe an apartment complex. We're gonna rebuild it, but first, we're gonna finish the movie theater in my house. Here's what you do: buy all these distressed properties. You let people come in to knock the stuff down, relieve their stress. That's actually a really good idea. We'll do like a, uh, a free demo Tuesdays yeah. where like if you're stressed out, come demo some stuff in the apartments and then we'll rebuild it for you. All right, good. Like the video for that idea right there and 
enjoy this process.